Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph and you guys. So in my last video, we looked at the dark truth about TikTok. And in that video, I exposed a lot about the company running the app and showed you guys just how shady TikTok truly is. But in today's video, we're gonna be going even deeper and looking at the dark side of TikTok. And this video is a special one because today I'm gonna be accompanied with Caitlin Stewart, AKA Drama Queen. And for those who don't know who she is, she's a popular TikToker and YouTuber who's been around since the Musical.ly days. And with that being said, she has a lot of knowledge when it comes to TikTok. We're gonna be looking at some scary viral trends from this year. I'm gonna be looking at the Skull Breaker Challenge and then Caitlin is gonna be talking about the Dangerous Nutmeg Challenge and the Disgusting Foreigner Challenge. So without further ado, let's get into this. So there's been many different types of challenges and trends in the history of the internet. Innocent things such as the Harlem Shake and the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge have raised awareness and even raised some money as well. But there have been some dangerous challenges such as the Elder Challenge and the Tide Pod Challenge. There's this one challenge in particular which was popular on TikTok earlier this year and it's called the Skull Breaker Challenge. A warning to parents tonight about a dangerous stunt making the rounds on TikTok. The Skull Breaker Challenge that can be disturbing to watch. There have been several head injuries reported. Teens ended up with concussions. Problem is kids see things online and they just see the stunt, but what they don't see is their friend going to the emergency department and spending three days in the ICU because they have a cracked skull. The challenge is simple. There are three people who stand side by side. Then they say that the three of them are gonna jump at the same time. But instead what really happens is only the person in the middle jumps. And as they're in the air, their legs are kicked back by the two other people, causing them to land backwards and land hard on the ground. I can't even begin to explain how stupid this challenge was. This viral challenge was responsible for sending dozens of kids to the hospital with vital injuries to the neck, head and other parts of the body. This challenge has even led to the deaths of several kids worldwide. Here's a video of a 13 year old who was a victim of this challenge and talked about her experience. I couldn't feel my hands, I couldn't feel my legs, my feet, nothing. 13 year old Kathleen DeJesus was rushed to the hospital from her middle school in Massachusetts after being targeted by her peers. I was thinking like, oh my God, I'm going to lose my life for this game, I should have never done it. This was actually a challenge and as you can see, the dangers of it were real. Okay, so I wanna show you another video of this challenge to show you all how truly dangerous this challenge was. But just a warning in advance, it is pretty terrifying. So with that being said, I'm gonna blur some of it out. So what happened in that clip is that the guy in the middle blacked out. And then his friends dragged him and attempted to pick him up but he wasn't conscious. This prank just took things way too far. Like if it did go wrong, which you know, 99% it will because just look at the challenge. It's literally called Skull Breaker Challenge for a reason. Well, the kids who are in on the challenge will most likely be charged. It's called conspiracy. Two people developed a plan to ultimately cause harm to an individual. Here's a video of one parent whose child was a victim of this challenge and he talks about what happened with the perpetrators. Fell, hit his head and suffered a concussion and a seizure as a result of the fall. Now, his son's two seventh grade classmates are facing third degree charges of aggravated assault and endangering an injured victim. These challenges are just so stupid and I can't believe that they go viral in the first place. I can't believe that in 2020 people actually find it entertaining and amusing to cause harm to another individual. Like nowadays people find it funny to injure someone. So there's this one challenge that's currently going viral on TikTok and a few other apps and it's absolutely disgusting, like it is gross. It's called a foreigner challenge and it involves exposing very inappropriate pictures of children. But I'm gonna hand over the video to Caitlin where she will be talking about the nutmeg challenge and then the foreigner challenge. Hello everybody, my name is Caitlin Stewart. I own the YouTube channel Drama Queen and I am also an aspiring artist. And today I will be joining Ivan in the dark side of TikTok, where we talk about the dangerous challenges that have been going around on TikTok for quite some time now. I covered this challenge recently in a YouTube video of mine where people on TikTok were taking high dosages of nutmeg. Nutmeg is something that you can cook with, but Nutmeg is also a hallucinogen. And of course, this became really popular on TikTok to take a high dose of nutmeg and get 
high from it. Now, long-term use of nutmeg in doses of 120 milligrams or more daily has been linked to hallucinations and other mental side effects. People who have taken larger doses of nutmeg have experienced nausea, dry mouth, dizziness, irregular heartbeat, agitation, and hallucinations. Other serious side effects have included death. Now, I don't know about you, but doesn't it seem a little bit harmful to be promoting these videos on the For You page where children are more likely to be curious as to what this nutmeg makes you feel like. They take a high dosage of it and it can leave them with very, very bad side effects. We know that TikTok is an app that caters to all ages, but TikTok used to be musically where mostly kids came from there. And of course, children are going to have TikTok because it's TikTok, who doesn't have it nowadays? And that is a big danger. I don't think content like that should be promoted, but that's just my opinion. We also recently came across the hashtag foreigner challenge where underage people were getting undressed on camera and posting it to platforms like Funny Mate and TikTok. Except these videos originated from the app Funny Mate and then people were taking those videos from Funny Mate and distributing them onto TikTok. That's where the question gets brought in as to how and why these challenges get made up. Is it because we are in quarantine at the moment and people just feel like this is an okay thing to be doing? This isn't just TikTok's fault. They have currently 12 million monthly users. It is obviously going to be hard to tackle all problems at once, but I think that it's very important to stop these kind of things from happening. I'm glad to have seen TikTok take down nutmeg challenge videos and even stop these videos from getting into the For You page, but that seems to be all for now. Thank you, Ivan, for having me as a guest on your YouTube channel. I very much appreciate it. And if you did want to check out my videos, my YouTube channel is Drama Queen. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. But just before we end this, I just want to add one thing. So this foreigner challenge, it's messed up. Like, I get passionate and upset about a lot of topics on my channel. You know, this is one challenge in particular which really crossed the line. I just can't believe that it's gotten to a point where this is actually called a challenge and where this is actually becoming a trend. These are real people who are becoming victims of the challenge and it's really destroying their lives. I want to show you this one video of this girl who was a victim of this challenge just to show you all how it can truly ruin someone's life. But for the purpose of her safety and privacy, I'm going to be blurring out the video. Is this really what society has come to? One of my university professors once told me that Generation Z is it's filled with the brightest and the best of people. That we're the ones who are supposed to fight climate change and prejudice. But then we do stuff like this. Over the years, TikTok and internet challenges only be seeming to get worse and worse and much more dangerous. Because what's happening is that people are building up a tolerance to challenges. You know, what was once not viewed as correct in society to do. This is an issue because in five to 10 years, challenges are going to be extreme. I wouldn't be surprised if the next five to 10 years, we had insane challenges such as like the human baby slingshot or like the shoot yourself challenge. And you know, I'm not trying to be that party pooper and bash on challenges because there are a lot of good challenges. There's funny challenges and a lot of challenges are harmless, but people need to understand, you know, something that's a challenge and something that's life threatening. I just can't believe that this is what TikTok has come to. An app where people can dance and lip sync to songs, make funny memes and express themselves and other creators creative ways has turned into this. The community has become so toxic that TikTok is literally destroying people's lives. And I, I hope by making this video that, you know, we can start a conversation and, you know, hopefully we can make people aware that this is the type of content that is going on TikTok and other platforms. And hopefully we can discourage people from doing these types of challenges in the future. Anyway guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I do hope that you enjoyed and maybe even learned something as well. By making this video, I'm hoping that we can start a conversation, you know, create awareness with the type of content that is being posted online on TikTok and other social media platforms. Because when you go deep into TikTok, there are a lot of dark things which really just shouldn't be on the app. If y'all can share this with a friend or two or someone who you you think really needs to see this video it really would mean a lot i'm trying to you know spread the word as much as possible and truly make a difference so anyway guys that's gonna do it for this video and until next time it's been iron stuff peace